Hi, my name is Bill Hurd. I am a Scotty Cameron collector and I also sell Scotty's items on eBay. wanted to put a quick video together today to talk a little bit about the various head weights of Scotty's putters, talk about uh, kind of the traditional head weights and then what's changed in recent years with the addition of adjustable weights. So kind of get right to it. I've got a few uh, putter heads here that I've removed from shafts just to illustrate what, uh, what I want to show here. Yeah, uh, this is kind of an old school uh, Scotty Pro Platinum uh, putter head. It's obviously pretty beat up, but I'm going to put it on the scale here so you can see it's right around that 330 gram weight. And traditionally, this has been where Scotty has weighted all of his stock 35 inch length putters. Uh, he's kind of always gone back to the fact that a 35 inch putter should be 330 grams, a 34 inch putter should be 340, etc. Uh, I wanted to, to demonstrate. Uh, just how far back I guess he's uh, he's gone with that belief and that was back in his days uh, building putters for Mizuno uh, this is an old M100 head also 330 grams so again just kind of a, a point of reference I think that extra um, that extra six grams on there is probably just uh, some of the extra epoxy or that sort of thing that's not uh, that's not cleaned off so anyway uh, in recent years starting in 2009 with the uh, studio select series we've had the option to change the weights out of these putters. And there's been some question of, okay, well, if I put two 10 gram weights in my putter, what's that going to make it weigh? Well, uh, I want to demonstrate that again today just by uh, showing you the weight of the empty uh, first generation Studio Select putter head uh, right around that 320 grams. And then the idea there is if you put two 10 gram weights in that, you're going to be at around 340. And so this is kind of important to see that this is a 320 gram head without the weights so when you add 220s obviously you know that's going to take it up to 360 and so on well in a conversation with a, a fellow collector uh, recently he mentioned something to me that, that I had not heard which is the newer the second generation studio select putters and the second generation California putters actually have heavier heads to start with and that's something that I was not aware of and so obviously just to kind of see for myself I removed a, uh, a second generation uh, California Monterey head, took the weights out of it, and uh, put it on the scale. And sure enough, this putter head starts out at 330 grams without any weights in it. So you're starting out 10 grams heavier. Quite frankly, if you're playing an old school Scotty putter head, um, is really no different than playing one of the, the new version of his, uh, of his selector, of his California putters, without any weights. You've got the same head weight. Now, obviously, then when you put 220s in, you're going up to 350 instead of 340 on the first generation select. Uh, this is the same with the 2012 select putters as well as the, the 2012 Californias. Uh, my understanding is this is the way uh, th that he's going to go forward with these as well. Uh, if I hear any different, I'll, uh, I'll put another video together and update you. So anyway, just wanted to throw that together, maybe do a little uh, Scotty Cameron Mythbuster here with, uh, with the putter heads. And if you have any questions about this, feel free to give me a shout either on YouTube or on eBay where my user ID is WHERD, W-H-E-A-R-D. Thanks.